At a young age, we were told that the formula for success is simple. Get an education and you'll get a job. Save your money and you'll be set for the future. Recycle and you'll save the planet. The path just seemed laid out for us, right? Yet despite our achievements and our shared success on some of the largest global issues, Canada still faces significant challenges. Reality is that the path to success isn't so straightforward. It is projected that 11% of students between the ages of 15 and 24 are unemployed in Canada. One third of Canadians are not financially literate, which critically impacts their day-to-day -day decisions and their standard of living. And Canada produces a total of 25 million tons of waste per year, which accounts for 11% of the world's total waste. Is this that same bright future we were promised? We are Anactus St. Clair, a three-year-old team residing in the southernmost point in Canada, Windsor, Ontario. We knew that the overwhelming challenges we were facing had to apply to so many more besides ourselves. And so, over the last few years, our team of 35 students has created four dynamic projects. These projects aim to tackle 10 of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We know that sustainability is achievable by working together to create dynamic solutions. Our solution started at St. Clair College. After conducting a thorough needs analysis at our campus, we discovered an even starker reality. 84% of our international students are unemployed. We noticed that they needed improvement in two main areas, employment and financial literacy. So we decided to create Interact, an online platform that provides youth with the skills and resources needed to become workforce ready and achieve financial stability, fulfilling sustainable development goals four, eight, 10, and 17. This is how it works. Students are granted access to a web browser using their school email. They then are enrolled in a set of online courses and have an opportunity to take part in weekly seminars, resume clinics, and mock interviews. In our initial trials, we hosted over 500 international students. This allowed us to survey and evaluate their current performance while giving them valuable on-the-spot feedback. After seeing effective results, we decided to add an additional 100 domestic students to see if we could take this project to the next level. These students utilize a series of employment modules in their weekly classes, covering topics such as steps to building experience while in school and presenting themselves in an interview. Not only did we see significant improvement in their resume and interview skills, but our surveys showed that the unemployment rate decreased by 20%. By partnering with Libro Credit Union, we introduced the second component of our platform, financial literacy. With their help and a $5,000 investment, we offer students online tutorials and host bi-weekly in-person sessions that teach the basics of budgeting and how to manage debt. Through this program, 100 students were able to increase their income by $3,300 in just three months. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Moore. I am a part of COM 203 class and we've been doing the Interact modules. It has really helped me to understand what resume building is and to how to apply for a job properly. As someone who will be graduating soon, it's important for me to know this knowledge. So the Interact group with St. Clair College and Enactus has really helped me to learn those kind of things. And on top of that, because I'm a college student, going through the modules with the budgeting has really increased my ability to understand what to do with my money. Our goal is to turn Interact into the Inter app, granting free access to the entirety of our student body. Through future partnerships and app development, we will add employers to our mock interviews to advance the hiring process and to connect banks with our financial literacy platforms. But we know that the foundation of financial independence can be applied to even more students. So we decided to reach out directly to our next student body. When speaking with high school students, we learned that not enough youth have the desire or awareness to gain employment in the skilled trades due to their lack of exposure to entrepreneurship. So we developed Would You, an educational program that provides students with the confidence to pursue entrepreneurship as a career option 
while also integrating sustainable business practices in line with goals 4, 8, 12, and 13. We started our program by teaching two groups of high school students our 10-week curriculum. This curriculum uses the business model canvas as a blueprint for creating their own micro-businesses using materials such as wood and textiles that would otherwise have been discarded. We introduced them to the concept of a value proposition, a revenue stream, and how to define a target market, all components of a sound business plan. We then invited them to our first entrepreneurship day, where we hosted 150 students from three different schools in our community. In their respective teams, along with an Anatis mentor, they were tasked with creating a product from a large selection of sustainable materials and pitched them to a panel of judges. The largest barrier these students faced while starting up their business was a lack of funding needed to scale their products locally. Through our RBC Future Launch grant, we plan to start an innovation fund that will allow students to apply for and receive a $200 microloan. We ensure students have access to an Anathis mentor to help them with the application process that consists of creating a cost structure to ensure future profit. This time last year, I was a high school student at Cardinal Carter. I was exposed to the Woody curriculum that changed my perspective on entrepreneurship as a career option. This program took a unique, hands-on approach that isn't offered in a typical high school environment. It's had a significant impact on my life. It led me to become an Enactus mentor. Through our partnership with the Downtown Windsor Farmers Market, students will be able to sell their products to the public, holding them accountable for their business and earning a profit. We value the involvement in taking care of our most vulnerable. For some, these opportunities just aren't as accessible. Three out of 10 people in Ontario have a mental or psychological disability. We found that many facilities and families struggle to properly support their individual needs. So we created Endure, a project promoting the well-being of individuals with a wide range of disabilities by repurposing materials into sensory blankets, bridging the gap between fast fashion and textile waste. Sensory blankets calm and focus the user, as well as improve fine motor skills, which give the ability to learn or relearn important skills such as tying shoes or buttoning buttons. This allows for constant and consistent support without any assistance, establishing a sense of independence. Through our partnership with Value Village and our school's fashion technician program, we created our prototypes and presented them to Abode Respite, a local nonprofit dedicated to community programming where 30 individuals interacted with them over the course of their two-week trial. After acquiring insights from Abode Respite, we were able to identify the specific needs of different individuals to further refine our prototype. In just two months, we have secured four new partnerships who will be the driving force in achieving goals 3, 11, 12, and 13. Future plans include the expansion of our product line and the further diversion of textile waste from landfills. It is estimated that in Canada, 2.9 billion pounds of post-consumer textile waste is sent to landfills each year. However, only 16% of Canada's total waste production is actually recycled. What this looks like in our hometown is overflowing landfills within the next 14 years. The issue is consumers struggle keeping track of what can be recycled and what can't. And our current waste management practices fail to confront cross-contamination. Cross-contamination is the amount of improperly sorted waste deposited in a sorting bin. If the amount of improper materials in a bin is over 10%, everything, including the properly sorted material, is sent to a landfill, meaning our efforts to recycle have literally been going to waste. When speaking with local waste managers, we found they felt restricted by their ability to sort and remove waste, as well as audit and collect data. We developed Revert, a social enterprise whose mission is to inspire the reduction of global waste by reinventing recycling through our sensor-based assessment system. Our system is designed to provide education and data analysis. Through the use of its proprietary machine learning algorithm, we are able to reduce cross-contamination and improve recycling efficiency within businesses and communities alike. These sensors monitor the weight, height, and traffic of a bin's contents by mounting them at the top and the bottom of the bin. This condenses and sends the data directly to our clients in real time and removes the errors surrounding manual entry. An automatic code then examines data patterns in real time to make comparisons and generates future projections at a daily, monthly, or annual scale. Monitoring this data improves efficiency and accessibility. By utilizing Revert, 
businesses are projected to save at least 10 labor hours per week. This is our business model. Our team visits the client and evaluates their bids to ensure that our program works with their existing network. We then provide businesses a package, which includes our sensors, our application complete with automatic notifications and monthly maintenance. Clients then pay a one-time installation fee of $300, alongside a monthly subscription fee of $30 for our software and maintenance. This will also include access to our mobile dashboard, which will produce data reports to help management make decisions. This year, we introduced four business partners to sustainable business practices, including a local mall and our Chrysler manufacturing facility, both leaders in the pursuit of zero waste for institutions nationally. By tackling waste management issues through our combined sensor system and our developing education curriculum, the Reaver program promotes goals 9, 11, 12, and 13. Through a shared vision for sustainability with the United Nations, Enacta St. Clair has invested close to 6,000 hours creating solutions to challenges in our community. In just one year, our four diverse projects have developed 15 new partnerships, secured $11,000 in project funding, consulted for 21 small businesses to support the growth of our local economy, directly impacted 2,700 people, diverted 13,600 pounds of waste from landfills, and are on track to generate a total revenue of $186,000 in the next year. In defining our Enactus team, the values of diversity and community truly embody our spirit and our drive to achieve. And that image for success is one we see across Canada, an identity founded on the success we can all achieve by supporting one another. So we ask again, is this the same bright future we were promised? We at Enactus St. Clair say yes.